So this question is a simplify question, right? I know that without even reading the question because of the length of the question. Simplify questions are between one and three lines long and the fact that there is an equation provided here. In this case, technically a proportion provided here. So all simplified questions have either an equation or an expression that can be simplified. So why, why this strategy? Why do I call it a simplified question? Well, I like these questions because when I recognize them, I can get straight to the point without getting distracted or confused by any of the wording in the question. What do I mean by that? Because of the, because of the anatomy of this question, because it's short and has an equation, because I know that it's a simplified question, all I'm going to initially do is think about how do I simplify this equation that was provided to me? So let's get started with that. So first of all, I say I can cross out these twos, which would turn this whole thing into x. And I'll just say over 1 so that we can keep um, that as a fraction so we still have our proportion on both sides. And then I can cross multiply. So I can multiply the denominator here by the numerator there. And that would give me x times x minus 3 equals, and then the same thing here, right? The numerator here by the denominator there, which gives me x. Now, I can simplify this even further. So I can distribute this x here, and I have x squared minus 3x equals x. I then see that I have like terms in my x terms here, so I can subtract x from both sides of the equation leaving me with x squared minus 4x equals 0. And lastly, I can factor out an x from the left-hand side, leaving me with x parentheses, x minus 4 equals 0. And now if I want to solve for, if I want to solve for x, which is the final step in, in simplifying all of this, I just have to remember that the product, right, x times x minus 4 is equal to 0, which means I have two options. Either this first x is equal to zero, right? Because if that were the case, zero times whatever is inside of here is going to be zero. So that makes it a true statement. Or my other option is that what's in the parentheses, the binomial x minus four equals zero. Um, and therefore, x would be equal to four. So those are my two solutions for x after completely simplifying the original equation that I started out with. So now I'm looking at the question, right? So the question says, which of the following represents all the possible values of x that satisfy the equation above? Well, I already found them. Zero, x can equal 0, and x can equal 4. Um, there's only one other thing to be kind of wary of here before I just go on and say that choice B is the correct answer because it has 0 and 4 is I want to plug in my numbers and just make sure there's no possibility when I plug 0 in or 4 in to the original equation that I end up with like an undefined fraction or something like that. And I don't think I do. In fact, I definitely don't because the only way to do that is if the denominator of one of these fractions becomes 0 after plugging in my x solution. So the only way that would happen is if I had x equals 3 which I do not, so therefore choice B is the best answer here.